If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Anchor, it's everything you need to make a podcast, all in one place. Wow, this is... Pretty good. <laughs> I was going to say unusual. I, I rarely date. And I rarely throw myself at men. But I guess we're both out of our comfort zone today. I would agree. But then the memory of you wanting to start an affair with my father lights up in my head. Okay, okay, enough of that. It's a great diner, right? I'd give it a score of 5 out of 10. What would make you give it a higher score? Mm, being stood in front of a woman hotter than you. More words like that and sex is off the table. <laughs> you... You are worth so much more than me. I'll decide that for myself. Thank you very much. <sighs> You're perfect. Okay, you need to know flattery is my kryptonite. If you keep it up, I'll take you here on the spot. Well, thanks for the heads up. I will keep my mouth shut. I can't believe I'm here with you. You're so... So breathtaking. I get that a lot. Hey, behave yourself, mister. You haven't sealed the deal yet. Your soul blows my mind. You're a little bored, but I'll forgive that in view of you being so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing so many possibilities. Whoa, it's our first date. Let's get to at least five before you make up that assumption. You can't build a house in a day. It takes a firm foundation. Layers of bricks. Well, when you know, you know. We belong, Alex. We belong. Elizabeth, I am not your man yet. And anyway, I belong to me. It's a one-man mission to the moon until my spacecraft can be rebuilt to carry an extra person. It's a one-man mission until I get my claws into you. <laughs> you are relentless. Do you know that? That's my superhero name, Miss Relentless. It's cute. You think I don't know that? Give me one secret that no one knows about you. Hmm. In the first year of my college life, before I dropped out, I had a lesbian experience. <laughs> That's a clever tale. <laughs> you won't seduce me with it. Wait, you're joking, aren't you? I never joke about sex, and you'll find out soon enough. Right. Do you want to know more? I would, but then the knowledge of me being like my father would be too punitive for me to handle. Was he good to you as a kid? Horrible drunk. He must have been tough. Oh, not my dad. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky, tell me about your childhood. I wish I could, but that's off limits. I don't discuss it with anyone, even with my mother. What? She's your mother. Surely she... Change the subjects, Liz. I know you don't want to, but eventually you will tell me. I don't think so. Well, before we got here, you didn't think we'd date and... Wait, what's this? We're on a love cruise. <laughs> You're easy to talk to. Right back at you. I feel like we have something I can't put words to. I can. My grandma used to say I'd know who I'd want to spend the rest of my life with if I could spend an entire night with them without wanting to leave. And have you wanted to leave? Not for a single moment. You're hypnotizing. I'm glad to hear it. My heart beats faster when we're in concert. Well, that's a good sign. 
It means this is conscious. Well, that, my darling, it is. But I'm a cynic of love. Just admit it. You want me. You want this to continue. Honestly, I don't think I've ever wanted anyone. You can't resist me, Alex. I want... <laughs> All right. That's unfair. Stop making funny faces. Sorry, I can't. It's too much of a pleasurable experience. You are so annoying. Yeah, I am. But you love that about me, don't you? Serious question. What future do you see for us? He's talking about our future, and I'm blushing. I'm serious. What do you want out of your life? A career? Kids? Big house? Yeezys? <laughs> I have no desire for material things. Happy to hear, because I wouldn't buy them even if you were. I want a partner who wants any future that links us together for a lifetime. Wow, that's astonishing. Is there a way of buying that? I'm lame, I know. I was going to say... actually that. Behave! <sighs> I keep looking at you and all I want to do is kiss you. Steady. What? I'm a girl. We think about these things. <laughs> <laughs> Quick fire questions. Yes or no? No thinking. Do you cook? No, I'm terrible. One word. Would you have kids? It would depend on whom I'm with. Liz, yes or no? No, to annoy you. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Just as well. I'm allergic to cats. My turn. Did you love your last girlfriend? What? Did I say something wrong? No, my current girlfriend is here in this place with... best friend? Stay here. I need to deal with this. Hey, Alex. It's good to... We need to leave, right now. Why didn't you tell me you had a girlfriend? We need to go. I'll explain everything after we leave. You lied to me? I didn't. Don't be silly. You lied to me. Don't ridicule me. Yes, I did. But there's a reason to why I did it. Well, tell me then. I had to. I'm falling for you. What do you mean falling for me? I, I don't want to say it. Well, tough. You're going to. Speak. I'm falling in love with you. Okay? This was our Complicated Souls, part four. It was read by Chakri and Giselle, and written by Joao Nisita.